How's it going ladies and Bruce? I'm Bobby Six, and welcome back to Battle Chef Brigade. Now we're going to carry on with our, uh, our routine, and we've got to find a new opponent. I think we've got to do restaurants still. Yes, because Caesar's standing in the way. Until next time, Tita. Take care. Hey mister, looks like you're finally having a good day. You, don't be so nosy. I think we did this in the last episode, but whatever. What's this? No way, it's a love note written on a crescent receipt. It must be for Puntita. All right, now we got to do this fucking restaurant thing. Did I hear you say that you'd give it all away to find the love who will stand by your side? She's having a good time. You have a beautiful voice. Oh, thank you, recruit. Don't think I'll let you slack off because I'm in a good mood. <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it. All right, it's been a while since I played this, so let's see if I can actually Ooh, thanks. figure it out. This one. Delicious. Well, at least it's starting me I'm off with nice easy wonderful. ones. I guess. It's good. That's something. Oh, thank you, dear. So, yeah, it has been a little while. It has been a little while. Thanks. There we go. Mm. This would be good practice for when we get back into the proper battles anyway. I suppose I need it. Mm. Well, this is perfect. Hey, we're doing well today. Very much appreciated. Oh, I see. My bad. Delicious. Double water. Thank you. Delicious. Well, we're out of time. Ah, could have had that one. Totally could have had that one. Pontita's been so happy today. And that's the most I've ever gotten out of Caesar. Pontita! Yes? Should I give it to her? I think they might actually be good for each other. I, uh, I just wanted to say thanks for this opportunity. Of course, give it to You're her. You're welcome, Mia. Now get out of here, recruit. You've worked hard enough for today. It's not my secret to tell. We haven't worked hard enough for today. We've still got a fucking match to do. We gotta pick someone to play against. Not you. I like you. I don't want to take you out right now. Yo. Want to duel? Winning at cards over and over is getting boring. I was just about to ask you. I remember you from the inn, but I never caught your name. Are you Siegfried? I guess. Most people just call me Ziggy. My pal here is a ghost, though. Slimes don't make for very interesting company. Right. Well, it'll be a pleasure to duel, Ziggy. You got it. I'm happy with what I got still. <laughs> Your funeral. I really want to use the uh, crock pot slow cooker thing, but I can't afford to. I have to switch out my single element pans then. Yeah, we've seen this. We Welcome this. once again to the most invigorating exhibition of culinary excellence in all of Victusia. Yesterday we mourned with contestants who suffered their second loss and cheered those who dazzled our judges' persnickety palates. Persnickety. That's an interesting word. Like the pounding tides of the Silian Sea, the iron stomach seems unstoppable. Mina! Damn right. How many judges have we got today? This cryptic competitor employs a band of skeletal sous chefs. He calls himself Ziggy, the fast food fiend. Who's ready to clog their arteries? <laughs> Ziggy. Nice. Who's ready to have a heart attack on stage? Today, these chefs seek to please two of the sharpest minds of our age. The first I'm proud to present is Instructor Meridane. At ease, Chairman. You are no longer a student of mine, after all. My attention is focused solely on the techniques of these chefs. Good. Be careful not to oversaturate today's dish with bold flavors. Doing so will bury the intoxicating crispness of water. Water, good. The next judge is the famed Grand Matriarch, Asgil. With each challenge that passes, these chefs reveal more of themselves through their creations. I look forward to learning more today. Everybody can do better Forging this time. for ingredients is a vital skill. Earth. So today, I ask you to scour the Skylands for a bit of earth to ground your dish. Gotta get used to making two dishes for two different... Judges. This Skyland's delicacy 
used to be so rare that it was exclusively eaten by royalty. Even now, collection requires a chef with sharp eyes and the speed of a tempest. Windfruit! Windfruit. Ah, Windfruit. I remember Windfruit. Alright, I'm ready. Vive la Brigade! Water, Earth, and Windfruit. We'll start with the Windfruit. Let's get into it. I think I remember where the Windfruit was. Stop trying to bite me, you fuckers. Ah, I fell off. Fucking turtle bastard. Wind fruit, there. Ow! Why did they just knock me down? What is happening? It hasn't been that long since I played, surely. Oh my god. Whoops. No, no, oh, you fucking muppet. Alright, fuck it. We need water. That's enough pissing around for one time. Alright, that's water. We got one win for it, that's enough. Let's start cooking. There's some wind fruit, armor rock heart, and water. Alright, let's cook. Awesome. There you go, this is looking fucking badass already. Pick it out, chuck it in here. Get this fire done. Alright, we'll go get some more of that uh, armor rock stuff and then we need some more wind fruit probably. some of that crap. Grab some of these. Because we can. We need to collect earth ingredients after all anyway. Our inventory's full. Better roll out. Alright, what else have we got in the way of water? Whoops, wrong button. Again. Water. No, hang on. Get that done, and then we'll see if we can get the, uh, the room for the sapphire. There is. A sapphire Joe. Hey Mina, have you seen Joey? What? No. Alright, 180, that's good enough. Sometimes he likes to wander into other people's cookware and explode their creations. Alright, now sure we got won't happen, Mr. Earth to deal with. We gotta get another wind for it still. You guys have earth? You do. Perfect. Missed. Son of a bitch. You die. Fuck you, Al, dude. I'm gonna come get you. No! Oh, fuck. I always fall off everything. I just... What the fuck? I just fell through the floor that time. No! Fuck my life. Hey, we got it. Grab that. Okay, we're full. We're full. 
So I think it's the wind that's making the platforming really fucking difficult. Pain in the ass. All right, this. Uh, what do we need? We need wind fruit first of all, which is fire-based pretty much exclusively. So that's not very helpful. Uh, we'll track those in. Pack some biscuit in. All right, let's cook this shit. All right, looking good, looking good. All right, we got nearly two minutes to get this done. Chuck it in here. Pick out some of that fire. Go, cool, move it back. Put this turnip in, and we'll put in the iceberg. Yeah, iceberg turnips, they're pretty good. All right, let's cook that through. we got loads of time. Uh, what else? You can use some of this nochi fruit. It's got a bit of fire in it though, I must admit. Which is a pain in the ass. Use that. It's got some earth. 60 seconds. It's not too bad. We're alright. Oh, we need to cook some of that water out too, I think. Just chuck that, get some of that water out. Yeah, we're running out of time. Can we get any more earth in this? I mean, I'm sure we could. Let's get cooking. All right, let's just get that fire out. Ah, oh, come on. I didn't notice there was uh, any level 2 gems in there. Cool, that'll do. Hopefully that's good enough. 206, that's not bad. Thank you for your hard work, chefs. Let's see what the judges have to say about your efforts. Jeez, this might be a close one. Exceptional. Does look pretty fancy. Beautifully hydrating. That water is a nice antidote to the summer day. 219. In my years as headmistress, I've never tasted such a flavorful, flavorful dish. A delicacy. All right, here we go. The brightness of the water is really coming through. I give you top marks in every category. This is a truly remarkable dish. Is that more than he got? I think that was more. Exactly what I wanted. 168. Your interpretation of this dish is my favorite by far. Plenty of earth evenly spread throughout. 218. This is seasoned to perfection. I could not have done better myself. My so you got 437. The earth is both pure and beautifully complex. Well done. Impressively done considering my request was a tough one. You'll thank me when you're in the field. Here you go. We smoked him. It seems no iron skillet can stand up to the might of the iron stomach. Mina Han wins! Woohoo! Good about like 50 points. Not too bad. You're a necromancer? Isn't that unsanitary for our line of work? Just because I get assistance from the undead doesn't mean I don't have standards. I wear gloves. <laughs> I've heard stories about this kind of magic, but. I thought it was evil. No offense. Huh. You and the committee. Apparently, I've got them all riled up. They want to add a new rule just to kick me out. Pretty boring culinary experts, if you ask me. They don't even want to put haunt cuisine in their mouths. Hmm. I understand their concerns. Is that a joke? Haunt cuisine? I got a jet, but look for me if you ever want to try haunt cuisine. I hear you're a brave soul. Um, sure. Thanks for the match. Sayonara. I'm scared to know what his food's made of. Dead things. Though so is ours. Ziggy's spicy ketchup. Times two red sauces. Eh. That went pretty well. We're only got a people to face off against now though. We might have to face off against our friend. The we orc dude. Probably get some dinner, but I just wanna sleep. Huh? 
What's going on over there? Admit it. Your family donates to Judge Meridane's Academy. She gave you a free pass on that win. If you actually knew anything about me or my family, you'd know that couldn't be farther from the truth. Just how many of your royal family members are in the brigade? It's obvious nepotism. If you have an issue, bring it up with the tournament committee. I'm sure they'll find your accusations to be baseless. Ha! <laughs> Run away like the cheat you are! This was your third loss. You're out of the competition. Learn to take that in stride. You can always try again another year. Why, you... <laughs> Mina! Ah, you cut my hand! Uh, I'm sorry, but you were about to hurt my friend! We need to get an officer. Can anyone help us? Oh, goodness. I told you something terrible was brewing in town. Straight foot. We can have a straight foot. <laughs> what happened here? She just threw her dagger at me! I was aiming for your skewer! It was an accident. You raised your weapon and... It looks to be only a scratch. Let's get that wrapped up. The three of you come with me. I've got a medical kit at the inn. What are you all standing around for? Move along! Now! No, oh, now we're in trouble. I see. Shiv, you come from an honorable lineage as well. There's no need to throw dirt on Kieran's family. Your great-grandmother is the fabled Kiln, isn't she? Uniting the orc tribes by way of her cross-culture cuisine. She'd be ashamed of your attitude throughout this competition. Of course. Taking Kieran's side. It seems to me that the only one who expected an easy win based on their background is you. The fact remains. Contestants are not allowed to draw weapons on one another in town. It's a designated safe zone. In accordance with Article 7 of the Proving Tournament Rules, you are hereby expelled from the competition for two years. Oh crap, are we expelled too? What?! This is bull! As for you, Mina, even though you tried to protect Kieran, you also broke the rules. You've injured Shiv's hand. And just think if your dagger had missed and hit a townsperson. I'm sorry, Instructor. You should have gotten an officer to handle the situation. You too must be expelled for endangering the people around you. Is this the only way? Although I understand the seriousness of the situation, I don't think Shiv or Mina truly meant any serious harm. Tensions were high. Threats were made. Kieran, say your farewells to them. They're expected to leave tomorrow morning. Mina, I'm so sorry. Listen, everything is going to work out. Ow. Don't give up. Mina? Chapter 2 complete. Huh. Chapter 3, Tempest. I thought we'd have to finish off all our opponents before we moved on to the next chapter. Are we going home? Limp. Can't you give her another day to take it easy? She's heartbroken. Mina needs to keep working. She has the same spirit I had at her age, including my weakness. I'm standing right here, you two. Sorry, Mimi. I tried. Why don't you go on restocking duty? I can peel the potatoes. Yeah, we can take out our aggression on some fucking I'd monsters. Peel the potatoes. I think some exercise would be good for you. Get some fresh air. All right, fine. Be quick about it. The restaurant is opening in just a moment. And I don't want you to use any wind magic or daggers. It's ruining the backyard. Goddamn. <laughs> Go wild. The only thing ruining the backyard is all the monsters piling up since we haven't had your combat skills to help us. Saskia. What? It's true. Let loose, Mimi. Yay. Let loose. Whirlwind. Die, you bastard. This is going well. This is going well. Ready! Well, there really is a massive lack of variety as far as monsters back here goes. Oh 
Oh, no, you don't. All right, is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. That's a good time, though. Order up. Two bao run noodle, one mapo tofu. That's all you, Mina. I gotta run the tables. Oh, it's like... It's like work at that other place. Oh, this is perfect. Lamo. Uh... Um... <laughs> there we go, finally. This is harder than working for that other lady. Uh, we need a couple of greens. Delicious. There we go. Jeebus. Finding myself struggling here. Ah, oh, but that was right. Surprisingly good. Surprisingly good? The fuck has that been to me? Perfectly delicious. Ass bag. We're a pro, man. Oh fuck! I just fucked that up. There we go. Uh, Simon's on his way with another delivery. He's late. Uh, sorry, Mrs. Han. Our farm got attacked by a bow run, and the barn almost toppled over. Pops took care of it, though. I'm glad you're both all right. Thanks. I thought I was gonna be a kebab. Hey, Mina. Got anything new for me to try today? Oh, hey. No, just the usual. Mina, why don't you help Simon move the satchels into the cellar? Let's go. Yeah, we're not trying shit out anymore. We're all miserable and depressed. Now that we're done hauling all that grain, how about a word, huh? A sound? I don't even think I've heard you sneeze since you've been back. What's there to talk about? What? What is there to talk about? Like, a million different things. A million? Like, how come no one has bothered to mention that the guy Saskia started dating needs to chew with his mouth closed? Isn't that polite? Don't be mean. Saskia's happy. Alex is a nice guy. <laughs> but he could eat a little bit neater. Ah, oh, there you go. Hmm? Look at you using words and talking. You are alive. Barely. I'm grounded for life. I'm going to be in that kitchen cooking the same things until I die. I can forget about seeing Beyond This Village ever again. Forget about the brigade. Well, mm, now never mind. What is it? You could always run away again. Next year. We were doing so well that year. Oh, please. Like my mom would ever let me slip by again. I think this is it for me. Staying here isn't so bad, is it? You can still test your experiments on me. I don't mind. Of course you don't mind. We're fucking awesome at this. I'm the Iron Stomach, remember? Not you. I know you're upset, but there's still so much here for you. The restaurant, your family, the old man shouting at the windmills every morning. <laughs> what? You don't get it at all. Just because you're satisfied with being stuck here doesn't mean that I am. That should be so bitchy about it, jeez. I gotta get back to the house. Simon was just trying to help. I shouldn't have blown up on him. It's a good village. It's a good restaurant. I've got my family and Simon. Maybe... Maybe I don't deserve to be here. I'm so sorry, everyone. Well, this self pity's not getting us anywhere. We should be thriving from the flow of travelers to and from the capital, but we're getting some unpleasant feedback lately. I told you, didn't I? The produce from the market has been tasting strange for a while now. You need to confront the brigadiers head on. We're paying good coin for their catches. Ma, it's even more serious than that. People are getting sick. From our food? It's hard to pinpoint, but we may be contributing to the problem, along with some other restaurants. Who's gotten sick? Actually, I just saw Alex. 
He's running a fever, and I heard Simon isn't feeling well either. Even Simon? But he eats anything. All the restaurants get their goods from the same brigadiers. There has to be something going on that we don't know about. What's going on? Are we not opening today? No, I'm afraid not. Mina, I think we need you to do some hunting for us, though. The produce we not in the backyard? just isn't holding up once it's cooked. We'll need more from the backyard to make up. Ah, uh, not backyard hunting. Sure thing. I'll get right to it. I don't want to do backyard hunting. I want to do proper hunting. Oh. Saga, you little furball. Is that the coin I just put up on the counter? Three dollar. Three dollar. You just wait, I'll be back. Oh, you were just about to lay an egg. My bad. Could have probably done with that. With an egg. Bastard. Alright. Or so, I don't really know what word to use. Agitated? Lame. <laughs> On our walk to the market, Charles spun a tale about how he fended off a raging bow run from destroying his farm. At first, I thought he was boastful, but now I'm not so sure. Simon's dad does love to exaggerate. True, but Simon mentioned the attack yesterday. I don't think this is one of Charles's tall tales. So, what's this have to do with the market's goods? I can't say for sure. But these monsters concern me. Their behavior is tumultuous at the best of times, and now they're more ferocious than ever. Like, the whole story's just shifting. Are we doing something else now? I wouldn't be surprised to learn they've been evolving. Yeah, the timing is definitely suspicious. Plus, we haven't noticed anything weird with the grain Simon's brought over. So, only the monster meat has changed. That's what we're thinking. Mina, you've got the sharpest senses out of all of us. Take a closer look at these ingredients for us, will you? Okay, I hate to admit it, but I've been neglecting my responsibilities these past few days. You don't need to tell us that. No offense, sleepyhead. It's okay, Mina. Get the stove going and let's do some tests. Okay. Oh. They're all shattery. Huh? Um... Uh Well that's not good. More ingredients are available. Okay. This is not working very well for me. <laughs> Can we Okay, so you can only turn it a certain amount of times, that's gonna be a fucking bitch. I don't like that. Yeah, I see some weird strands running through this marveling. The monster parts are breaking down more and more with every stir. Hmm, it doesn't taste too different at first, but when overmixed, it begins to sour. Yeah, I don't like it. What is this purple shit? Okay, so they explode and make it worse. Super. Alright. Now there's purple crap everywhere. What do I do with it? Just avoid it? Uh oh. What does that do? What's it gonna do? Yeah, it doesn't do shit.
Can we match them to get rid of them then? What about these purple spots? That was weird. That? They're popping as we cook. Gross. We didn't actually serve this to customers, did we? No way we did. This must be from spoiling within the past day. Ugh. There's definitely a foulness to the taste now. I've never in my life seen this before. Well, you certainly seem calm. Didn't you inspect the produce before buying? Aw, pointing fingers isn't going to help anything. Ma, Pa, I think we should look at what Mina brought in from the garden earlier. Hmm. They're just as bad even though they're from our backyard. Then it might not be the Brigadier's fault. The monsters are going crazy. That just leaves a problem with the monsters themselves. How could this happen? I'm not sure. But we'll have to be extra careful from now on. When you took the right precautions, it seemed like the poison dissipated. It'll take more time to prep ingredients, but it's time I'm willing to take to ensure our food is safe. Too many mechanics. Are we going to be able to open up again? Let's keep testing our recipes tomorrow, and then we'll see. Good work, Mina. I'm going to talk to the rest of the village leaders about our discovery. Yeah, good work, Mimi. If there's nothing else to do here, I need to get back to Alex and make sure he's all right. Okay. Mina, you and I should keep going for a little while longer. I have a few more ideas. All right, Ma. Let's keep cooking. A letter from Thrash. I wonder if he's made it in yet. All right, well, this is right on long enough, and we'll carry on the exposition in the next one, but we got... We got uh, expelled today, so... That's interesting. And the monsters are sick, and, and there's a whole lot of new mechanics added. So, it should get a lot more difficult, I think in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one.